My mum's name was Ellen Whelan. She was known as Nelly. She was born in Dublin in 1916. She was a great woman. We had, I had two brothers. My father worked in Bowen's Bakery and my mother literally reared us and looked after us and everything that had to be done by both for us and her own family, my mother done it. When I became old enough to realize how much my mother did for me, she used to knit all my clothes from the time I was an infant. I actually still have one of the little booties she knit for me when I was a child, but she knit all my clothes. And I must have been the only one girl growing up that had as much knitted clothes as fabric clothes. And she would make the clothes and she'd make my coats. She turned my daddy's suits. Anybody who had thrown out a coat, she'd take it down. She could have done, make it up for me. And she knitted all the jumpers for my brothers and she'd do her own fair aisle. And she'd knit iron sweaters. And she also hand painted tablecloths and she used to embroider tablecloths. She also made, I broke it actually by accident. We had this fold down table. You close in the leaf and the table would stand up, you know, on the one side. Mm -hmm. So she painted the table black and she got silver paper and she made a peacock and it filled the whole top of the table and she put glass over it. It was absolutely beautiful. Now I suppose it'd be about three feet wide circular. And uh, I fell against one day and I broke, but it was beautiful. And we used to save the sweet papers. We used to get all different color papers and it was, I can't tell you how gorgeous it was. It was absolutely beautiful. I never liked school. My brothers were very good in school and I did not like any bit of school. I left the day I was 14. I went in and told the teachers, my mommy said, I can't work anymore. I'm 14 years of age now, I have to get a job. I went home and told my mother, that the teacher said, now that I'm 14, I have to get out of school. And the teacher said to me, will you not stay and do your primary? I said, no, mommy wants me to go to work. But I just wanted to get out of school. I got out of school anyway. And uh, my mother had, didn't know what to do with me because basically in that time, it was hard jobs so hard to get. So she got me a job working with her. She sat behind me. She was a hand finisher. I became a cook machinist, a gents tailoring. And uh, we worked together. And anything I'd done wrong, I got told off that night for if I was talking too much or for I said no to somebody or something like that. My mother told me, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to say things like that. And you're not to be talking so much because I talked behind the legs off and ass. I could never do the things she could do. I did make clothes for myself. I made costumes and I made coats and dresses and made my wedding dress. I, I, I just, you know, and I made the children's, some of the children's clothes, but then it got, it was too expensive to make them. It was much cheaper to buy them. So I started buying my, I always made the curtains for the houses. My, well, when I say the house, I'm talking about my children's houses, even to this day now and that. I made my own sets of curtains. I have covered a few suites. I always, said when I was growing up I had a huge family because they were always there there was parties would start Christmas Eve and they'd go on till the new year everybody took turns to have parties and there was always seemed to be a house full of people all the time she was just everything she I don't know what she didn't do she leaves a big hole it's hard to build